Sex is powerful because sex built us. Uh, it's hilarious how we think we're in charge of sex. Sex is 500 uh, million years old, and we are sex's uh, creation uh, through evolution. Desire, we like to pretend, is something that we choose or something that we can control, and we can't. That doesn't mean we should do whatever we want. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't take into consideration the feelings of others and the impact uh, of the choices that we make around sex, even on ourselves. And sex cannot be denied or uh, sublimated or, or suppressed forever. Sex will find a way, even in our own individual experiences, sex will find a way to force us to satisfy it. People who try to suppress or shut down or cut off or, or not do whatever it is, those people will get drunk one night and do it all in an instant and destroy their lives because they weren't creating an avenue that allowed for it. They weren't uh, taking the pressure off somehow by giving in to sex by degrees rather than sex uh, swamping you and destroying you in a moment, in an instant. When I say we're all perverts, what I mean is uh, all of us have sexual interests and desires that uh, are not in column A. I call them column A, column B, column C. In column A, there's the stuff that's normal. Um, you know, sex within a relationship, sex with someone that you love, sex uh, in the gay or straight missionary position. Um, and in column B, there's like the normal sort of like variances or kinks or out there entrance. And in column C, there's the crazy stuff, C for crazy. Um, the crazy kinks, the crazy fetishes, the crazy fantasy scenarios. And everyone has stuff from column C. Uh, whether they're honest about it or not, with their partners or even with themselves, everyone has stuff from column C, their, their crazy interests. So if we could just be honest with each other, stop obsessing about being normal, and just stop fearing being labeled a pervert, that's also something I think that straight people can borrow from gay people. Like once we're out, you can't call us fags anymore to hurt our feelings, we're like, yeah, we're fags, so what? And if everyone could just get to, yeah, we're all perverts, so what? Uh, people would be happier and less stressed out and less freaked out about their sexualities. I describe myself at times as a conservative, mostly to annoy actual conservatives, uh, and as a joke, but there are certain streaks of conservatism that are evident in Savage Love. When it comes to family life, I'm pretty conservative. Uh, when people write in and say that they want to get divorced, I think, and I advise them if they have children, that the bar is higher to divorce, that you should work on it, and perhaps sometimes find a compromise and an accommodation that allows you to stay together for the sake of the children. Sometimes it's in the best interests of all involved for one person to actually have an, a cheat, to, to, to commit adultery. That there are times when cheating is the least worst option for all involved. Um, two people are together 20 years, they're not having sex anymore, they're, they still like each other, um, they're good parents and partners together, uh, but the sex is dead. And what should you do in that circumstance if one person really wants sex, the other person doesn't? Well, it might be better for the both of you and your kids for one of you to just to quietly go get your needs met elsewhere and then come home and keep your mouth shut about it. Uh, and that doesn't come from a radical place. That comes from kind of a conservative place. To do what you need to do to stay married and stay sane uh, and keep the family intact may mean cheating. The first thing you have to teach your children about sex is where babies come from. Because that's their first question, how did I get here? And you have to answer that question. The second thing, uh, which is as important, is that sex is for pleasure. Um, sex is not for reproduction. Uh, a human being, uh, over the course of their life, will have sex uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of times and have children a few times or less. What is sex for? Is sex for the having of children? No. Sex is for intimacy and human connection, and sex is for relationships, and sex is to feel alive, and sex is really for pleasure. And that flows into then a conversation around consent 
uh, around safety, or around birth control, around sexual orientation and identity, gender identity. There's so much your children have to be told about sex. The first thing you have to tell them though is the first question they ask, how did I get here? Where do babies come from? And you should answer that question honestly and rather explicitly uh, because you're not the only place they're getting that information. And if you don't tell your children the truth about sex, your children are gonna believe a lie they've been told about sex by a peer, by another child. Nothing would improve adults, uh, nothing would improve the sex life of adults more than just not fearing shame and not fearing rejection. Uh, people withhold. Uh, people are getting, you know, an adult is getting to know someone, it's becoming intimate, it's becoming sexual, and they want to appear normal, they want to not be scary, and so they don't tell the truth to this person because they're, they don't want this person to reject them. Uh, and if this person isn't on the same page with you sexually, if you're not sexually compatible, you should want to get to rejection quick so that you can then find someone who is on the same page with you, find someone that you are sexually compatible with. So don't withhold, that would be my advice, don't withhold, open up and share. Uh, don't do it over, you know, the first drink, you don't want to seem like somebody who has no judgment, you don't want to think, seem like someone who only thinks about sex or is only interested in sex, but when you get to the sex part of the relationship, when you become intimate, really share and open up and be who you really are sexually. Because if that's not who they want to be with, better to know that early than to struggle with that 10 years into a relationship. It will destroy a relationship in time. So better to destroy it right away than to marry someone who's not right for you.